Nukwe. Nathaniel Nukwe. Okay, you're a super lightweight boxer. Yes. What are your records? 13-7. 13-7. I mean, 13 about 7 loss. 7 losses. Where do you 13. come from? Volta region. From Volta region. In Ghana here? Yeah. Okay, for how long have you been boxing? 95. Since from, 1995? Yeah. From my juvenile boxing to the professional level. Okay. Nathaniel Nupe. Nupe. Nathaniel yeah. Nupe. Yeah. From the Volta region. Yes. Oh, okay. Super lightweight boxer. Yes, sir. Since 1995, you've been boxing. Yes. Who, who, who are the boxers you have met? I've met top boxers, especially in Ghana, like Sheriff Kui. I met Isaac Dogbe to training with him. Met I met so many boxers, especially the French boxers. We are close to the French country, so I met met of many of them. Oh, okay. Well, I'm now here to prove myself and bring the title home because since Buta Region got into boxing, nobody has ever brought a title home. Oh, okay. And so nobody has ever gone far like me. Mm. Yes. In boxing. In Volta region. In Volta region. Yes. Hey, I say more. Hey, Nathaniel. Uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Okay, so who are you uh, fighting with? I'm fighting with Stopper Kwe. Stopper Kwe? Yeah, they okay. call him Stopper. Uh, his name is Kwe. Okay. But that day I'm giving him a good fight. What he's doing, he, do, he won't expect. That's what he's going to see. Because Kwe, he disrespected me and see me all over from the Volta region, only me, no coach, nobody. They should know I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier, I'm ready to do anything. I'm you ready. have no coach, you have nobody. I have coach, uh -huh. but they are not here with me. Where are they now? They are the Volta region, still putting up things together. Okay. So would, they be, uh, would they be in a crowd on the day of the vow? Yes, oh, they would okay. be. Okay, so, but you came alone. I came alone. Hey, Nathaniel. Hmm. But are you not frightened by the name Stopper Akwe? He's going to stop you. <laughs> I don't think so. I told him to scrap that out of his head. Hmm. He can't stop me. The only boxer that has ever stopped me is only Sheriff Kui. Nobody has ever stopped me. Yeah, but so, you have seven losses to your credit. <laughs> yeah. And you said nobody has to ever stopped you. They didn't stop me. They, they take it by a split decision. Okay. Sometimes... This our uh, Ghana DB, especially our promoters, they, they do do some fishy things, and you see your record gone. Oh, okay. So with the seven bars that you lost, you believe that it was not a genuine? No, most of them, most of them, about four of them are not genuine. Okay, and three of them were credible. Yeah. For the three, they beat you well. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, what are we expecting from you on the night? Well, that's what I said earlier on. This fight is a fight of redemption. It's a fight that I'm, I'm, I'm putting Kui to his level. He disrespected me, so I came all over from the voter region to show him that I'm not scared. I came to Accra twice from last week to this week, and he had uh, been running away from me. Okay. You see me here this night again. He should be here facing me, but he's running away. So I expect people to come watch that fight. I expect people to come and see how things is going to go on, because this fight is coming. Come, it's coming with blinking fire. Believe me. Okay. Have you had Have you had opportunity to watch the some bouts of uh, Stop Akwe or something? Yes. He's a good customer. He had one, but not for me. I'm from the coast area. I meet many things. Things worry me past your own. No be own. You don't know if you worry me. No go if you bring me down. Are you sure about that? I'm very, very sure. Hey, you can see it in my face. Yeah. You can see when a soldier is ready to Isn't go to war. Is that the color of your beer? No, I just dyed it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> hey, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel from the Volta region. Yes. The only boxer. One after Agboko, but they Agboko, they don't stand for voter, they stand on their own, they just have the name as Voterian. Yeah, but we will stand for the team voter. Oh, okay, 
Oh, I started. Most common one boxer who heals from uh, the voter region, the one who was not, who was uh, who just suffered. Uh, I think some mouse, no, the, some mouse took. Uh, uh. The common one boxer is one of the foremost guys who went to the Olympic Games. He heals from the voter region. He he is at the voter region now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Those people. That's why I said they hide themselves. They come down to Accra here, and. Should I say they naturalize yourself? They take yourself <laughs> out of Volta. They don't want. Yeah. Uh, if you call Volta Origin name, everybody will say I chop chair like this, like this. Me, I live in a very big house that will have everything, every juju, but I don't mind them. I believe my boxing. I believe what I'm heading for. Okay. But that's that's what they put in their faculty in their head that uh, this is what is coming up or uh, easy life. Boxing is just out of fight. It's something I enjoy it. I don't feel pain when they are punching me. I enjoy every part of it. You don't feel pain. When I don't feel you. pain. Oh, okay. I only feel pain when I lose the match. Oh, okay. I don't feel pain when they are punching me. So I told Stopper that he should think very well. And since I've come to Accra like last three days, I've not been seeing him. Today we went to an open interview for a training. I didn't see him. They called him. He didn't come. I went to his training ground to greet him. I didn't see him. <laughs> so I see he's already scared. He's hiding around. Oh, okay. Mm, you see a stranger okay. from no man's land. Don't you think it, it might probably be his strategy to defeat you on the day? It's not a strategy. This is entertainment. We are not here to kill ourselves. So <laughs> just we open yourself. We saw the match. Yeah. We let the match go forward. I know you hiding hiding why are you hiding mm -hmm. you're hiding because he's scared he's just scared i can say it again he's very very afraid okay we just spoke with the organizers of this particular bout and they were saying that there was no purse at stake for you uh how do you feel apart from the belt how do you feel about that i'm my my mind my focus my everything is on the belt I don't care about anything else, any money or anything. My focus is on the belt. Yeah, but many times boxers at 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 this tender age uh, tend to say that uh, they are focusing on the belt. At old age, it tends to be another story. Yeah. Well, when you get the belt, things will change from there. When you have the belt, you have the power to talk, and people do it for you. But when you fight and lose the belt. You don't have the power to say anything. Any, no matter what you say, somebody will say, you don't go be beat you, you say we can do what? Something like that. Yeah. So my mind, my everything, before I came here, the first day, my coach was like, don't come here, you have to do this, you have to do that. But I want to show them that what? I'm not scared of him, but I, th I think my coach is scared. He's scared because he said, I'm your not coach. well prepared for this fight, but... coach is scared. He's scared. What's the name of your coach? Sadiq. Sadiq okay. Abubakar. And if your coach is scared, then probably... <laughs> no, no, no. The coach is not fighting for you. He will just stand there, do like this, do like this, punch like this, do like this. He's not the one putting up the energy. He's not <laughs> the one taking the punches. That's what I believe. Oh, Nathaniel, huh? Interesting. What an interesting boxer you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, uh, Nathaniel, look uh, at Nathan and Cassie and then I train Kumono. Oh, yeah, wonderful boxer, Bruta. Now, I see he live from the Volta region. And uh, and they all tried to say, I'm going 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 to say, i am going why do you want to take boxing to from 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 this bout i want to take you to the greater high because i i just think uh it's power promotion that they put me to this level because it has been a long time i uh, fought after how I caught my matchmaker doing some selfish things with me, I fired them and they, they banned me from fighting for mm -hmm. about a month. Uh, I said uh, nine months now. Okay. So 
as far as been active boxing yeah, for nine Espa, solid months now. Yeah, it's probably really so brought me back. So this is a comeback for you. Yes, okay. it's probably really brought me back. So I have to prove it to them, to okay. my old management that I'm not, I'm not a dull one. Yeah, I'm not scared of anything. Ah, no, be punch, we will punch ourselves. Yeah. When the greatest punch, they come from me. I told Quay that you should stop thinking about maybe. Okay, I don't have any fans in Accra here. Yeah, the other day we went for the interview. Many people, I told them we should go and take two SEC bus because the people that he brought is not plenty. They are not plenty for only me. I have the vim, I have the zeal, I have what to take to bring him down. And he's already hiding already in his own, should I say village or town or city? <laughs> He's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding. Don't want to see me. He's hiding. Who is your role model in boxing? My role model is uh, Mayweather. Floyd. Mayweather. Yeah. Okay. Do you have some traits of Mayweather in you? Many. Many of it. Mm. Many of it. Like? Well, my name, Nathaniel, is a meaningful one. I'm, I'm somebody like, I put spices to things. Oh, okay. That's my name. I build fight on my own. I build punches on my own. I call them supernatural punches, supersonic ones. Okay. That's what I call them back in the water. If, if you can ask Agboko, they'll tell you more. Isaac Dogbe, the father Paul Dogbe, they'll tell you more about me. I hate when people say they will stop me. That makes me really get focused on you. I'm not even thinking about him because he's nobody. I'm not thinking about him. I'm just only thinking about me, the belt on my waist taking me back home oh, okay. and laughing at my enemies that they think boxing because when I'm running on the street or training when I'm going to Charlie my body is all around go find some job do because you know border town either you cross or you do some dirty dirty work but I don't want to get my involved in myself involved in all those kind of things so I concentrate on my boxing Either you help me, you don't help me. I have my ways of feeding. I have my ways of doing my own thing. So it kept me there. Many boxers in the Volta region, I really lost it. Now they turn to Angola driver crosses. They stop boxing because they feel they want somebody to come help them there. But I, what I believe is you help yourself there. When you have what it takes, when you are talking, they'll be putting the money down. Do you, do you drink anything apart from cocoa and water? Do you drink any other thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Why did you ask? <laughs> why? Why did you ask? I would love, I would love to know why did you ask. Oh, I also just wanted to know. That's all. Oh no, no, the way I'm talking, right? No. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to know why did you? No, I just wanted to know. I don't take any time. Yeah. I'm a pure natural man. I'm just. You know, I'm here from a plow, we know they fear anybody. So they come, say, with the dash arm, with the immigration, say, with the same, make you sit down, make you watch the way I move the person. What thing you make me a fear? Come with just one person, quick. One human being. Ah. Me, I be on the street for a plow, I face four people at a time, be beat them, sticks and things. It can't be only punch. Uh, sir, yeah. Everybody <laughs> must be dead. Yeah, hey, don't stay at home. Don't let somebody come and tell you. Buy the tickets and come. Because this is not an unique way. I lost two people. They call me a bengi. Yeah. My whole village, they call me a bengi. You, yeah, you must surely beg. Yeah. That's what I say. My, that's my name. A bengi. It's a nickname given by me by Philando. Okay. Yeah, he's a chief priest. But he just like me. Sometimes I go to ask, what is holding me? I go there to ask when he do his things, do his thing. Yeah, the last he hour he told me, yeah, yeah, I want to know what is holding me down. What is happening? Then yeah, he told me that you? just recent, last four months, said there's nothing. You just, your time will come. And my God says, I should call you a bengi. I took it from there. Mm, from you guys, yes. Okay. So from, what were you doing during the period that you were suspended? Uh, hustling, being on the border, crossing this, crossing that, just hustling. I'm a family man of four, you know. Four children? Yeah. How many boys and how many girls? I have two boys and two girls. Okay. What's your wife's occupation? 
She's a petty trader. Oh, okay. She's so, a pretty so trader. During the nine months of your suspension, mm. you were also hustling. Yeah, still hustling. You were not training as a boxer. No. And you might probably have lost your reflexes. No, 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 no. Always a soldier is a soldier. Look at you sitting down here. Staying at home one year. Coming back to the studio, you do more than this. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> because always a soldier is a soldier. Maybe I'll turn into a singer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> always a soldier is a soldier. Okay, I should go home briefly. Bro, <laughs> Bro interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> not, not all, 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 all my sound bites. Yeah, I wish, 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 I I'm 31. 31, 31 years. years. So, uh, how many years left for you to quit boxing? Well, we have to fight here. I go go do because my the energy is there. Oh, okay. Ah, you know, Jerry journalists call me a creature Matoko. Full energy, and I have the tattoos here. I have it on my back. Whatever he told me before he died, I have all the tattoos on my body. So, you know, I call this fight the redemption fight. I'm here to. Bring it down for Papa J, wherever he is, yeah. dead or alive, wherever he is, the spirit is there watching me by now, and he knows that I'm going to do it. Okay. Yes, <laughs> he knows that I'm going to do it. I go. Well, 